Hi everyone, we're doing functions and percentages today. How confident are you about this topic, would you say, out of 10? Starting with Jai. Seven. Seven? Uh, Simon? Eight. Eight, that's good. Jessica? Nine. Nine, ooh, confident. What about you, Stella? Oh, like an eight. And what about you, Sophia? I'll be an eight too. Fantastic, what a great group. There's always something to learn, I find. Okay, skipping forward, we've done step one and two. We're just going to focus on step three. Jessica, would you like to read out the process just so we're all refreshed? Okay, step one, write a fraction where the numerator represents part of the quantity and the denominator represents the whole amount. Step two, convert the fraction into a percentage by multiplying by 100 over 1. Step three, divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, find your colour square and have a read of your question. Oh, good work. Good job, Simon. Thanks. So the exercise asks to convert the fraction into a percentage. Stella and Sophia have written an answer in words addressing the question. That was actually something really drilled into me back at school when I went, when I was in high school, particularly with problem solving and word type questions. The marker will tend to want to see a direct address of the question, even if you've got like all the perfect working out and you've got the answer there at the end. If the question was in words, it's quite appropriate to respond in words and with the units and all that. Nice, okay. Can I get everyone to look to the color on their right, look to the next box on their right and have a look at their work and make a mark if you think anything is a bit dodgy or give it a tick if it all looks good. What did we learn from this exercise? Would someone like to raise their hand and <laughs> converting a fraction into a percentage by multiplying by the by a hundred over one? Yeah. Good job, everyone. Can I please get Jessica to start us off with the summary of what we did today, and we'll take turns reading the rest. What is an LCM? What is an HCM? Do you remember? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Common multiple yep. factor. Yeah, good work. And what are the different types of fractions? Improper fraction. Then and starts with M. Proper. Proper. Uh, I'll count that, but we were looking for mixed numeral. Do you remember that? Yeah. 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 Okay. How do you tell the difference? Well, one of them has like a one and then it has like the, as the whole number or more, and then yeah. the fraction next to it. And the other is just got the number. The, the, the like a common number, number on top. Yeah. Thanks, Sophia. The improper fraction has a larger numerator than the denominator. OK. Stella, you're next. Do you remember what the LCD is? Lowest common decimal. Denominator. Ooh, close. Or denominator. Yeah. That's right, denominator. And it's completely related to the lowest common multiple. It's just the D because it's the denominator. It's not just an ordinary multiple. Yeah, and that is how we add and subtract fractions. Make sure the denominator is the same. We did it! Yay! Yay. Yay. Whether any of you had a joke for us. Why do we tell actors to break the leg? Because every play has a cost. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good Tuesday or evening. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.